Hello my fellows, so we're going to continue on with this whole WSL thing that we've been working with um, because there's a lot of apps that we want to install that sometimes we have to have a Windows subsystem for. In fact, we just got out this new open Sora stuff that uh, we're going to be teaching you how to install. That's going to take your Windows subsystem as well. Um, so we want to make sure that we have this stuff working because there's nothing more frustrating then getting into this stuff and all of a sudden you're finding like I can't find the CUDA toolkit and you're like I've installed it like eight ways um, and I don't know what is, why you're getting it so we're gonna go over a real quick and easy way to get it done like that I mean I'm honestly like I, I feel kind of bad like I sit here bang my head against this stuff for for weeks and days and months figuring this stuff out and then and then I just give it to you and you've got it you've got it all figured out within five ten minutes and uh, I'm like, damn it, damn it, how come I didn't get it so easy at the beginning? So anyway, we're going to move on with it. So what we're going to do is um, we have to open up, you know, first we're going to open up a, uh, a WSL window. So to do this, you're just going to click on your window start key and type in your WSL and it should pop this up. If you're not able to get it up for some reason, Watch my other video we just released here on uh, WSL installation and troubleshooting. It's so easy, guys, to get this going. And it's so frustrating when you don't know what to do. Um, but it's it's so easy once you figure this out. So if it's not working, go check out that other video over there. But we're going to assume we got this open. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in this command, NVCC. Okay, and let's put a dash dash version. Now watch what's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen because it's not installed. So this is checking for your uh, CUDA toolkit. It's going to tell you what um, version you have. If you don't have it installed, this command is not going to work. So this is also a good way if you're working on projects and you can't figure out is my CUDA in to, uh, installed or not, type NVCC dash dash version and uh, if it comes up, it's installed. Okay. If you're not using it, it says it's installed, but you can't get it. Then you know that um, it has something to do with the environment. So it's installed in the environment, but wherever you're trying, wherever you're at, it's trying to get at it, it's not getting to it. So uh, that at least gives you some hints. Okay, but right now we know this is not installed, yo. So let's do this. We're going to pop on over to the internet. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to type in. NVIDIA CUDA install and with my Linux I'm going ahead and installing 12.1 I know with Windows I tell you to install 11.8 and you should install 11.8 okay um, with the Linux um, stuff over here we need it for certain projects especially again like this open Sora stuff that we're getting going we're gonna need that um, so we're going to jump into this. Before we do that, though, please like the channel and follow the channel, like the video, because it really helps out the community. And we're all trying to learn this stuff. So, yo. Okay, let's pop back over here. We've got this one. We're just going to click on here. This is so easy, guys. We're going to be done in minutes. Okay, let's just agree with this. Now, normally we're going to click Windows, but we're working with the Linux this time. We're going to choose this because this is the type of um, computer system we have. And then notice it's got Ubuntu, but we've got WSL Ubuntu, which is what we want. We want the Windows subsystem for Linux. So we're going to click this, version 2.0, and then we're going to click this dev local. Now, it has an option here. You can try this if you want. Uh, you can just run this one thing and then try installing it. I hadn't have luck with it. I don't generally like doing those things because just a lot goes on i kind of like having the hands on step by step so we're going to go over here click on this one that says local okay now easy peasy we just going to highlight one of these bad boys okay we're going to head back over here control v and then we're going to press enter it's going to look it's already done okay so we're going to do that for each one of these things highlight it Whoops, highlight it, copy it, control V it. Okay, now here, sometimes these ask for passwords uh, because see it's moving something. 
uh, so it wants to say, hey, is this a hacker that's doing this or is this legit? So hopefully when you set up your Linux subsystem, you remember to get your password. Okay. So we're going to go grab this one here. So you're going to do this, uh, you only have to do this once, but as you set up different um, distributions with your Windows subsystem, you have to do it for each one of them, okay? And there is a command in here that they don't tell us that we're going to use ChatGPT here to make sure this stuff stays in there. <laughs> so hang on in there. Now, most of this all is pretty fast. This one is one of the longer ones. So while that's doing that, let's go back over, get our next here. So same thing. Gonna control C. Okay, back over here, control V. Okay, and what is that one doing? That's downloading a package. So we'll let that do its thing. Meanwhile, we'll head back over, get our next one. You don't have to worry so much about what all this stuff does. If you really want to know, just go throw it into GPT and ask it to explain each one of these. And um, You know, that's the thing. You can spend as much time learning this stuff as you want. Sometimes I'll spend, like, you know, an hour just reading up on something. Um, but you can't learn everything. And so, like, this stuff, it's like I kind of... Again, you learn this stuff by osmosis uh, over time as you deal with it. Um, oh, whoops, we went ahead and copy that. But um, you learn it by osmosis over time, it becomes more familiar. But, uh, you know, I don't need to know what every one of these things do. I mean, I can look at these, and I know sudo helps it to elevate, it elevates a command, so it's like administrative rights. Apt get, and we're going to download something, so we're going to update. So this is uh, updating our, uh, our sudo stuff, okay? Here we can look at this sudo. You can learn this is copy, so it's going to be copying this file uh, over, or it's moving it over into this place. It's making copy, so it's moving stuff around. So you can kind of learn this stuff just by looking at it. Here's a wget, so it's downloading the files uh, from here. So it's not really that difficult. It just looks like a lot of mesh to us because we're not sure what it is. Throw it into GPT, and GPT will get that. Now I want to show you something here. While this is undoing here, I'm going to pause it here for a second. Notice these ones say lib, lib or q sparse, lib qrand, this kind of stuff. Uh, lib cubeless, this is a one that you'll probably see. The A lot of times we get errors when there's the CUDA toolkit's not set up right. You'll get these um, these kind of errors that have this lib stuff uh, on it here, okay? Uh, and if you don't know what you're looking at, you're like, well, what is it? I don't understand. And then you end up times on the internet, you're like, bah, 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 trying to figure it out. And listen, a lot of us, we don't really know this stuff, do we? I mean, I'm certain that there's a lot of you out there that you're just trying to get into this and you've got jobs, you got kids, you've got responsibilities, all this stuff. And this is kind of like your side time stuff. You want to play with it. Uh, but it really drags it down, doesn't it, when you have to spend like a ton of time searching the internet for stuff you don't really understand. So what I'm telling you is when you see stuff like that, uh, errors that start with that LIB, the lib cubeless, what that is is that's a problem with your uh, CUDA toolkit. So, um, okay, so this is done. Now if we go back here, what was the last? Oh, so let's see, I kind of forgot what we were when we were on. So what we can do is just press the up arrow. Okay, that's going to show us the last one that we did was that. So if we go back here, we see that that's done. But now check this out. We're going to go here. We're going to type in VCC. And notice it still doesn't find it. And you're actually saying, why? I followed you down this whole path. And we did what you did, but it still ain't working. Well, that's because, friend, we ain't done yet. We still got another step to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back over here. I'm going to show you how I handle this kind of stuff. I'm going to highlight all this, and we're going to rock on down to Electric Avenue and ask GPT. Now, the reason I highlighted all that stuff is because the way that these chat box work is they work on context. Um, if I ask you, um, how was it? Your brain suddenly starts going to like, well, how was what? Uh, I need to, you know, and so 
without context, it's hard to figure it out. Um, and you're trying to say, well, he asked me in the morning, wait, um, did I talk with him about this one thing? So you're trying to figure out context. If I say to you, um, I just came from uh, the baseball game and I saw you there with friends and man, what a great time uh, you had and that friend of yours. And then I say, how was it? You'll be like, oh, he must be talking about the baseball game. So I grabbed all that stuff because when we're talking with ChatGPT, I want to get some context. So I'm going to say, I just installed this on my WSL or in my WSL in my I'll play in my Windows WSL. Then I put it here and say um, NVCC is still not working. Uh, how do I? Uh, okay, let's just put it there. Let's see what it says. So that's a lot of context. So JPT is going to come back. It's going to. Give us some stuff we don't want, and then this is what we want right here. Set our environmental variables, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. So in other words, what's happening is we installed it, but the machine still needs to know where to get it. So we're going to copy this, go back to here. We're just going to put it in there, okay? Variable set. Now we'll go back here, get the other one. Basically what it's doing here is it's setting the variable name, and then this is the location. And then this is a variable. <clears throat> okay, another variable. So we we'll go here, but then I happen to know there's one more thing we need to do, and we got to do this. And so basically, what this is going to do is we set up the variables. If we um, we didn't do this, we'd have to close down the window, bring it back up again. But we don't want to do that, so we're going to click back over here, source there. Now, if we type NVCC dash dash version. Boom! Shakalaka! Right there. It is installed. So now you don't have to do your Conda CUDA toolkit. You got it done here. Yo, in just a matter of time. That was really easy, huh? I'm telling you, we look at this stuff and we think it is like way harder than it really is because we just don't know, right? And that's one of the, the dirty little secrets here is that uh, people want you to keep thinking it's difficult because... Uh, they want you to watch the video of this, and they want to expand their video, and plus people just are kind of, people are just people, so they like to have something a little over you sometimes. Guys, it's so easy if you stop, just kind of actually pay a little bit of attention to it, and you go, oh, that's what that's saying. That was actually, I, in my mind, I had built it up like this, and it was, it was actually like this, and then we did that, and that take, listen, on your own, that takes three minutes um, to get that done, and now that you got that in there, you don't have to do it again. Yo. Okay, they're going to end there. You guys have a good rest of your night. If you got questions, hit me up. I'm over on Discord. Um, you can hit me up on my Patreon site as well. And over there, listen, I got all sorts of great installs. If you're struggling getting some of this stuff um, going and you just want to play with it, go over there, give me five bucks for the membership, and then you can get, uh, there's a whole plethora. You like that? whole plethora of uh, things that you can get for your membership. So we will catch up with you later. And as usual, you stay good and we'll catch you later.